This is not financial nor professional advice. This video is for entertainment only. Hey everyone, how's it going with this wild stock market? It's hard to know which direction is it wants to go. It seems to want to go higher uh, and it doesn't seem like there's any negative things in sight uh, that could drag it down but we always know that something like a black swan event could occur uh, which could make that happen uh, so we uh, i'm always cautious to that extent uh, but right now i i think things look pretty clear until christmas at least as far as we know i've backed off on the logistic stocks uh, simply because they weren't delivering, so to speak, in more ways than one. And also, uh, not only because of that, but because I think there's, there's more opportunity with the metaverse stocks. And I'm going in heavy and hard on metaverse stocks. And I'm also doing some semiconductor stocks. But uh, I want to start with the metaverse stocks for now. The first investment in this space is for me is Facebook, which is now called Meta because they are totally going into the metaverse. And the significance of Facebook, whether it turns out to be the number one company in this area or, or the overall influencer in this area, uh, isn't all that important as much as it's important that a major company has announced that this is a major trend uh, which they're jumping into. I think the metaverse is the next big thing. We're always looking for the next big thing. The most recent big thing was Tesla. And I think uh, Facebook will do very well. It's undervalued. Uh, it's like in the 340s now. It should be in the 460s, uh, according to its growth and and its valuation. Uh, and, and you put a number of things together, you get to 460 uh, very easily. So uh, Facebook is, is kind of more of a sure thing, I would say. But I think the Tesla of this bunch is really NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA is, is already five years ahead of the other companies if we want to make a Tesla analogy. You know, so much is made of the metaverse that, hey, it'll be like you're actually there and doing things with friends and family and the whole bit, you know. But I want to say NVIDIA, they're already there. Uh, they have this thing called professional visualization. And in the second quarter, the money from that rose 150% to half a billion dollars. And what the professional visualization is, is uh, companies pay to have their engineers participate in this, in which they can get together in the, they call it the omniverse. They get into the omniverse and they work on the design of a car or a house or whatever they're designing and they they can operate this is already operational this is already a fact this is already so completely usable uh, they're not waiting for 10 years from now this is something on the move now it's just so new nobody's heard of it that much uh, we go with the the metaverse right now it's the omniverse <laughs> And this is just one area where NVIDIA is, is just standing out. You know, they're also into autonomous cars, okay, and uh, providing the, the, uh, the chips for autonomous and the, the graphic, I should say the graphics uh, for autonomous driving. And, you know, it sounds like they can develop that separate from Tesla. And they already have uh, an agreement with Mercedes-Benz, uh, but cars coming out with this system, this self-driving system, uh, and I, of course, I don't know if it's fully self-driving. Now, it's not even on the road yet, okay? That's why Tesla is so far ahead of everybody else. Uh, but, uh, 
you know, if you think about it, uh, Elon Musk was always thinking about other car companies would probably buy licenses to the self-driving if they couldn't produce it themselves. Well, NVIDIA, they have the graphics. Uh, they're going to be a major driver assistant, if not uh, full self-driving eventually, probably. And if you're a competitor to Elon Musk, do you want to buy from Tesla? No, you don't. <laughs> you would you would feel so much better buying it from uh, Nvidia rather than giving your competitor your major competitor money. Uh, so I, I I think that's just going to be huge. I think uh, their their professional visualization where they can share designing uh, with other uh, engineers. Uh, I think engineers totally. I, I, that could be with architects. It could be with artists as far as that goes. Uh, there's so many ways that that could be done. Uh, but these are just two huge areas that nobody else is really even on the map with it. Except I will mention advanced micro devices, which I am also heavily invested in now. Since October, this stock has exploded from the 200s to the 300s. <laughs> it's an absolute beast. And why shouldn't it be? I mean, they're into everything and, and the things they are into, uh, they dominate. I mean, they're even into crypto mining. <laughs> they, they, I, th I think the thing is, they've been sim simulating uh, the real world so much in games that we've discovered that, hey, the metaverse is all about simulating uh, the real world and, and making it so it's it's real. But they've taken it one step further with the omniverse where engineers and architects and artists can actually collaborate in real time while working on a pro project. It's, it's just almost unbelievable. And then you throw in that they're prob I think they're going to be big in selling in self-driving uh, systems uh, to companies that haven't made it as far as Tesla and want to catch up fast. And I bet they'll they'll buy it from NVIDIA before they'll buy it from Tesla. You know, NVIDIA is Tesla without the drawbacks. You don't have near the competition. They have one competitor, AMD, and they dwarf AMD. Now, I think a lot of AMD, and I'm invested heavily, uh, in AMD, but I th I see them at an early earlier stage of development is all. Uh, they're going to do well. They're going to do just fine. Uh, they're a great company. There's no doubt. Uh, but Nvidia, it's like Tesla. No other car company even begins to compare. And I think uh, when you you know the joke is, what's the next Tesla? Probably Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> but I think maybe in this space, uh, what's the next Tesla? I think it's NVIDIA. We look at a year to date chart comparing these three stocks, uh, NVIDIA, uh, AMD and Facebook, which is called Meta now. It takes a while to get used to calling that Meta. Uh, but if we look at the uh, chart comparing these three, uh, NVIDIA, comes out, of course, on top, 110%. AMD has grown 100%, and Facebook has grown 10%. And I, I think, I think Facebook fell out of favor heavily, and they're going to come back, and they're going to do better than this. Uh, but I don't see what's to stop Nvidia, uh, simply because they're involved in so many different things. And they really don't have the competition. The only competition they have is the AMD, and that's what I'm investing in too. I just see them at at a earlier stage in their trajectory, and they're going to have dramatic growth, and they'll they'll do great also. But I think uh, the true greatness and the true Tesla ness, if you will, lies in Nvidia. If you've made it this far in the in the 
video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.